Well, did you find out that your car is burning oil or that your oil is just disappearing somewhere and you don't know where? Well, the first thing you need to check is the PCV valve. This valve's job is to take away the uh, blow by air from the cylinders, to, from the crankcase, uh, uh, that, like the air that is coming from the cylinders to the crankcase, and it puts again the air in the intake manifold and it burns it so it will be better for the environment well sometimes this valve can be uh, can stuck closed or stuck open if it's stuck if it uh, if it's uh, stuck uh, closed it will cause like some blown gasket and it will make it it will lead to uh, an oil leak, leakage or like leaking somewhere and if it if it if it's stuck open it will lead to that this this valve will take the oil will will like uh, take the oil from the crankcase and put it, uh, like uh, send the air to the intake manifold and it will burn it so in this case uh, this car is a Volvo uh, V50 2006 that uh, has a like flex fuel system and that means that this car can be you can tank it you can like uh, tank your car by uh, petrol or uh, ethanol like uh, E85 well the pcv valve here is located like it, it's really hard to find it it's located uh, behind the intake manifold so you have to take off the intake manifold to reach it so how you can find this pcv valve from the beginning you will find a hose that is going out from the intake manifold to somewhere in the engine and it will be mostly the PCV valve at the end of this hose. So, uh, how to take off the intake manifold in this car? Well, first of all, you have to disconnect every cable that is connected to the intake manifold, and then you will take off the uh, injectors by taking off uh, two of this it will be located like this and you will take it off two of them two of the two of it here and here <coughs> and uh, you will uh, try to put everything away and try then to reach these eight i will show you like this and they are located like this i will make the camera stable so you can be able to see so you have one down there i will show you one And two, three, four, five, and that is not six. Uh, well, I think there is these two, one and two. They are just plastic uh, things that go that that go in from the intake manifold so they are not you you know you don't need to do anything with them but they are eight so here's seven and somewhere down there is the eight and it's here i think so i will show you how it will be on the intake manifold 
your intake manifold will be like this so you will find them uh, I will just rotate it to the other side so it, you will, it will be like this so let's count that one two three four five six uh, six seven eight and here goes the hose to the PCV valve and the PCV valve is located it all will be located right there so I took it off uh, and your map sensor will be located right here so be careful if you have like uh, oil like your car is drinking oil or something like that so be careful when you remove this try to keep it like that and then try to remove this otherwise the oil will be moving inside the intake manifold and it may come to the uh, map sensor and you know maybe it's a sensitive sensor well uh, yeah and when you try to when when you when you take off everything and you want to pull this out uh, the intake manifold you will find that it's a bit hard to take it off there is something that is holding it so it's nothing it's just this hose this hose is the PCV valve's hose so you, you you can just remove it a bit like make take it away a bit a little bit and by your hand remove the hose like disconnect it somehow and then it will be uh, done you will reach your uh, PCV valve you can change it there is a way you can test your PCV valve by is to check it or to shake it sorry sometimes it can be stuck and it doesn't shake it means that it needs to be replaced or sometimes it can be maybe shaking but it can be bad so it may be uh, it, it, it may like maybe it needs to be replaced too so you have to check it uh, and yeah if you are also searching for uh, another things to do here uh, under the intake manifold so you have the knock sensor and there is maybe another knock sensor here but I think this is the knock sensor so it's located here so you need also to take off the intake manifold to reach it and yeah if you're wondering how to change the thermostat so it may look that you need to uh, take off the intake manifold but no it doesn't need that you can uh, take off these three by another way you don't need to change to, to take away the intake manifold yeah and first of all you can like before you do anything it's better to disconnect the battery so there will not be any electric like uh, any electronic problem problem or like uh, electricity problem in the car well uh, and it's better to clean your uh, not injectors your uh, uh, spark plugs when you have like a, a pr uh, oil burning uh, problem so when you when you fix everything before you drive your car just clean the uh, spark plugs so it will run better and if you like you you've done everything and it's easy for you to reach the uh, map sensor right now or now so just clean it it's uh, easier for you so clean it by using a, a mass airflow sensor cleaner or special cleaning uh, thing so you don't uh, 
you don't uh, you don't use like uh, hot things on it because it's a sensitive sensor so and yeah you can also uh, to make it easier you can take off the uh, throttle body and just clean it and because yeah you, you reached everything right now right now so just clean everything you can it's better so this is how you do it it's a bit uh, hard work to to reach this pcv valve and i don't know why they put it inside there but yeah uh, it can be done it's not that hard and yeah <laughs> it's a bit hard but at the same time it can be done so